Hi, I'm Hillary, and I'm joined by genetic counselor Daniela today to talk to us about one of the biggest questions that we get. What is a genetic counselor? So as part of genetic testing with JScreen, everyone gets the results by a licensed genetic counselor. And Daniela is going to explain really what the purpose of a genetic counselor is, what they do, maybe a little bit into the training. So Daniela, please take it away. Thanks, Hillary. So genetic counselors are professionals who have specialized education in both genetics and counseling. So it's a little bit of both worlds and they are really there to provide personalized help to patients who are making decisions about their genetic health. So that can mean a lot of different things. And that's where um, genetic counselors get really specialized in the fields that they work in. There's mm -hmm. hereditary cancer, there's pediatrics, prenatal, reproductive genetics, cardiovascular genetics. I mean, we're even looking, uh, I think, into the future in a space in pharmaceutical genetics. So there's a lot of different specialties. Um, but Mainly genetic counselors, I would say, that work in the clinical space are, are meeting with patients and usually their family members um, to discuss, you know, maybe how genetic testing could be helpful in their case for whatever reason is bringing them in, what information it can give us, what genetic tests need to be done, ordering those tests, and then a lot, a big piece of it is actually going over those results. So what do these results mean to that person, to their family members? What do we do about it? What, how do we use this information? How maybe sometimes it's a little bit more limited? Maybe, you know, what are the, still the missing pieces that we don't understand and, and where do we go from here? So as you know, genetics is always a family affair. We share our genes with our family members. So it's never just about that one person. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's a lot of emotional uh, things that can come up, family yeah. histories, trauma, tough times, family communication can be strenuous, um, especially when we're talking about situations where people might be sick or being diagnosed with some sort of disease. Um, so genetic counselors help navigate all of those different pieces. Okay, so that's super helpful. And what's the difference between a genetic counselor and a geneticist? So a geneticist generally is a, an MD physician. Um, they are specialized in the field of genetics, medical genetics. Um, geneticists historically uh, did a lot of the research and work that has led to the field that we know of today as genetic counseling. A lot of geneticists, geneticists work very closely with genetic counselors in partnership. Um, whether it's in a pediatric clinic where, um, you know, the main space I would say where, where geneticists are used and are really, really utilized, genetic counselors generally do not perform physical exams. So I don't ever examine a patient the way your doctor would examine right. you. Um, genetic, geneticists, however, will do that. So a, a lot, the, the main space I would say that geneticists work today are in peds or adult clinics where there's, medical manifestations of diseases where they actually need to be examined um, and they work very closely with the genetic counselors in those clinics who then are really working more with like the genetic testing and the families and explaining the results and kind of making a plan going forward as opposed to sort of the medic, the actual medical management of that patient. Mm -hmm. And one question that we get a lot is we're dealing, especially with the reproductive carrier testing with a lot of younger people who are unfamiliar with their family history. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to them? Like, how do you kind of help them through that process of either putting the pieces together or figuring out information that maybe, you know, they, their family just doesn't know? I would say that it's very common and sometimes people can feel a little bit self-conscious of that. You know, we're asking them questions about relatives and they kind of realize, you know, I really don't know, or right. there was something odd that was never spoken about in my family, you know, and it suddenly they have this awareness of why don't I know this information? And I, the first thing I, I want to do is really normalize that. I think especially in the past, um, people didn't talk about health stuff. You know, no one really talked about why this person died or what disease that person had. It was much more of a taboo. I think 
hopefully nowadays we're a lot more open and there's more communication amongst the generations. Uh, there's more knowledge also medically for us to actually be able to give a diagnosis to things, whether it be, you know, what type of cancer this is or what genetic disease this is. Um, and I always try to reassure my patients, you know, as much as they know is enough. You know, we, we try our best to get, to pull the pieces together. And there's different ways that genetic counselors are sort of trained to kind of ask questions to kind of put those pieces of the puzzle together. Um, clues that we can pull on, things like that. Um, but if, if they don't know, we see patients all the time that are adopted and don't have any information about, about their biological family. So it's, it's absolutely okay. It's not a must have to kind of proceed with what we need to do. But of course, the more information we have, the, the, the more helpful it is. No, that's huge. Well, thank you so much for answering you know, our questions about what is a genetic counselor. I think one of the biggest takeaways too is to make sure if you're ever doing any type of genetic testing, to make sure that a genetic counselor is involved along the way. You don't wanna do these direct to consumer tests where right, like you're getting this information that you have no idea what to do with and someone's not guiding you through the process and making sure everything's correct. So of course with J-Screen, we have genetic counselors walking you through the process. But, um, but I think that's a huge takeaway for the people watching this. And now they know what the purpose of a genetic counselor is. And also just, it's a great career for anyone who's pre-health, who's not sure, you know, what path they want to do. Um, I just, I know so many genetic counselors like Daniela who are amazing and compassionate and just really love the field of genetics and it combines their medical background. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think the point that you made initially just have making sure a genetic counselor is involved in that process is so important. I mean, on the on the sort of um, most, I'll say most extreme side of the spectrum, sometimes when genetic counselors aren't involved, incorrect tests can be ordered, incorrect information can be received, um, maybe some false reassurance, just really kind of situations where things are mismanaged yeah. and we have to kind of do a lot of cleanup on the back end and hopefully it doesn't cause too much damage, but sometimes it really can. So I really, really, yeah, want to emphasize that point. Awesome. Well, thanks for all you do. And everyone stay tuned for our next session with Daniela, who's going to continue to answer all of our burning questions about genetics. Thanks.